Okay, so I'm going to talk about war films, uh, particularly death and how it's featured in them. Um, we talked a whole lot about uh, a lot of different films, but I'm just going to go through a few of them and list the common themes in them and just sort of go from there. So the first one I have here is a uh, popular film called Schindler's List. It was about a concentration camp, and it's a dark movie, it's very sad, uh, but death is portrayed very brutally, it's very dark, it's very real, so you see the like magnitude of death and how huge, and the numbers is just overwhelming, and uh, so that's what's interesting about that, but death is also like very real, they keep it very real in that movie. And the next one I have, this is a scene from It's All Quiet on the Western Front, which we watched a bit of in class. I think this is a different version, might be older. Um, in which the soldier has to deal with the enemy soldier's death in front of him. Again, it's very realistic and very sad and very dark. And they have to get through this really hard thing, but it's sort of keeping it human, despite the fact that they're all killing each other. Uh, this is an actual real photo. Um, I'm not really sure what from. Probably World War II. But um, a lot of these films, I guess we're saying, is try to keep it real, realistic anyway, with what happens uh, in the movies. And it's hard to portray but a lot of these movies we watched and everything really try to make it as accurate as they can. And here's a scene from Saving Private Ryan, which we also watched, uh, showing the D-Day battle, well, what was the result of it. Um, and as movies have gotten better and higher quality, there seems to be more violence and attention paid to the more brutal aspects of uh, well, what it was like to be in war. And this is a movie poster for a movie called Pearl Harbor, which is a terrible movie. Uh, but this is also an example of how death is portrayed in films, where this one was really dramatic and didn't really make sense because he dies in like the middle of a battlefield, and there wasn't really any reason to just hang out for a bit and watch him die. So it took a long time. It was really awkward and didn't make any sense but still tries to keep the brother bond going on. There's another scene from the D-Day battle. Uh, this one was kind of hard to watch. Uh, it's just sad to see all the American troops dying and uh, being murdered. And just Usually you don't get to see that in movies. Movies always try to gloss over the fact that many of our people got killed. Uh, but this movie really tries to show just how many of ours were killed uh, as well as theirs. And Hurt Locker, which won a bunch of awards a few years ago, um, again shows death in just a modern sense, which was different because we have all these older movies about older wars and older battles and we didn't really have anything to show us what it's like now and how terrifying it is with modern weapons and with the uh, people we may know or uh, love or whatever that are involved in it right now. So that is unique uh, in that way. So death is meant to draw a reaction and that's the whole point of this. And there are three ways that that can be done. Uh, for stars it should remind us of our own death and it should make us uneasy uh, about it. And uh, when we actually see it, we should actually feel something that makes us uncomfortable about uh, death as a thing. Uh, and we should also uh, see it, uh, or some people anyway, see it, and they will just look away and have no feelings about it. Or they don't want to have feelings about it. So they just kind of hide it by not looking or not even recognizing death. And we saw that in a few movies where people just wouldn't deal with it by just not looking at it. You know, or it would just, they would try to have, make death not have any influence on them. 
And the last thing was uh, others will, in movies or uh, in the movies we saw or in actual reality, you just see it and you make fun of it or make light of it uh, to get through it because you or the characters don't want to deal with the seriousness of it. Which we saw just a, not in the same way, but people kind of had to keep themselves sane by making light of uh, the like seriousness of their situation. We saw that a few times. Uh, so basically, the whole point of this uh, gorgeous video is uh, uh, the main point, anyway, is uh, that death is a very real part of war, and uh, basically the. I don't think a movie does its job right if uh, death is not presented in a way that gets a reaction out of someone. And we watched a few movies that really didn't do that and some that did, but uh, I think that's what really matters when it comes to movie making, especially when it's on a topic of war. And that is my wonderful, wonderful video. Uh, Thank you for watching Mr. Rieger, and thank you for watching random YouTubers.